All right, you bloody legends. It's super early, I finally got enough light to film. The mozzies are almost unbearable right now. I forgot to pack any, any mozzie spray and they are so thick. I can just feel them in the air when I swat. We're out today, first time in a fair while. Anything's on the cards today because I haven't been out for so long. So, need some more meat. Be keen to see a pig, who knows? Sort of just getting back into it. I've had some time off hunting to focus on some other stuff which I'm pretty excited to show you guys. I'm gonna keep moving because these mozzies are honestly just doing my absolute head in. This is still recording. Yeah, it is. Fuck, how's that? Just working my way through this really thick shit, which I don't like doing. It's probably the most dangerous sort of area when you can only see them from a little distance away, but. Oh, so close. I'm shaking like a freaking leaf. I'm using this um, Ultraview Hinge 2, a transfer hinge release been an absolute game changer for me I'll probably talk about it more in the future that bath would have had to go I think it was a it was a big cow two more steps one more step I was even considering thread and arrow I could just see half of her frontal but no I just needed probably one more step while I'm here give you a quick look at what I've been working on you sit my bow down because this thing probably won't want to focus I'll probably have to get out of the frame But these broadheads, all I've gone and done is pretty much made exactly the sort of broadhead that I want. Basically, that's the easiest way to explain it. And, oh, I just swallowed a fucking mosquito. Pretty much the A2 tool steel, which is a high quality tool steel. Super strong, much stronger than all the stainless that are currently being used. In the Australian market anyway and 
uh, it's got a coating so it won't rust, which is pretty much the only downside of tool steel. But I've tested the hell out of this coating, super durable. The heads are super tough. 28 degree single bevel. Stout but sharp tip, which is, the tip is something that bothers me with a lot of heads. <laughs> they're either too pointy and they roll, or they're too stout and I just don't like them. You can't even spin half of them on a, on a bench top or anything, like they don't actually have a point. These have a point. Um, yeah, I've made it in a few weights. These are 175 grain, which I was shooting last year. Um, but I'll probably move up to the 200s soon. But yeah, I won't reveal too much more info than that. Hopefully I can get a buff with one today, that's the plan. I'm very close to doing it just then. But let's keep moving. See if we can get one on the ground. It's just slowed down for a minute, but I've got a bull probably 200 yards up ahead. But he's not doing anything, he's just standing there and he's just watching like they do. So now's not a good time to try and get in on him because when they're in this sort of scanning mode, they'll, f they'll fucking see a smallest bit of movement and boom, they lock on. And if they see anything and they snap their head to you, you're never going to win that stare off. They'll look for hours until they can work out what it is. So I'm just waiting to see, hopefully he starts feeding and I might be able to try and get in on him. Shit, eh? That was a really hard stalk. It was it was alright when it was raining, but when he was when it was raining, he wasn't feeding. Because obviously they sort of know that their senses are not as good when it's pouring rain. So he just had his head up the whole time just, just scanning and then once it stopped raining he started feeding. But man it just went dead like not a breath of wind. It's absolutely silent and made it pretty hard to stalk in. I was getting there though and then my scent must have just drifted far enough down to where he, he caught it down there. Bit of a bugger. It was, it was looking promising there. It's just the way it goes. Everything seems to be working against you. Guys, we've got 8 to 10 buff up ahead. There's no good ones. They all, they all look reasonably young. No bulls at all, I don't think. If I try and keep walking, they're probably going to see me. So I may as well just try and put a stalk on them. We'll see what we can do.
I am 99% sure I just smoked that buff at 40 something yards. Oh my God, that felt good. New release, these broadheads just flew. It just flew like a dart and I hope the camera picked up the lighted knock. It's starting to rain right now. Oh my God, I'm shaking. That stalk was, oh, they all seem to be crazy, but fucking hell. Just goes from zero to a hundred sometimes. Like I couldn't really, do too much for a while because they weren't really feeding or anything they were sort of just on the lookout again and then all of a sudden they just started feeding real quick so I had to I had to make a pretty kind of a risky move but it was it was kind of a do or die situation otherwise they were going to get past me and they were going to win me so I got in with the camera all set up and closed the gap last second to, yeah just over 40 and I just held that pin on her front shoulder center on her front shoulder and I think I smoked her I didn't see her like she didn't trip or anything when she was running across here. I probably had, I probably could see her for about 80 meters running across with the other ones. Mind you, I cannot see past these trees. I, I quickly left the camera here and I, I walked maybe 30 or 40 meters up there to try and glance to the trees, but I couldn't see them. Go see if we can find this arrow. Actually, I'll go get my pack, try and find the arrow. And then I'm, I'm thinking she didn't go far, not with that shot. That's my go-to shot, not far back. Not like a deer where you might put it on the on the crease on the back of the shoulder. You have to shoot them more forward than that. Buffalo's intestines really push all their vital organs right up hard. Their lungs don't go back as far as deer and other things. A lot of people make the mistake. I have when I very first started hunting buff. But you learn very quickly. With that crease shot, yeah, it's not what you want. And I do see big hunting channels in Australia posting shot placement shit telling people essentially to put the shot back there at the crease it's fucking bullshit i can tell whoever made those posts don't come out and hunt buffalo anyway let's go and uh see if we can find her here's the shaft broken off as always with buffalo hunting their skin is just so thick and tough that when they run there's just no way that arrow is not going to break like this is just carbon and the amount of power that those animals have yeah there's no way it's not going to break. But, oh well, looks like we got some good penetration. The blood comes right down the shaft here. There's quite a lot. But regardless, we've still got good penetration. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'll watch the footage back. I'm confident I smoked that, that buffalo. I don't think it'll take us too long to find her. They went that direction, so we're going to head over there. These are some new shafts that I've been testing out. I'm super happy with them. I've done crazy amount of testing at home before I brought them out hunting obviously. I dare say they're probably the favorite, my favorite shafts. I'll talk about these some more in a minute after we find this buff because it looks like it's gonna piss down in a, not long. So let's go. Guys, I reckon I can see her right here. She looks very dead. Oi. I don't know if you can see that. This camera's fucking heavy. In the water there, of course. Full places. I didn't even look for blood. I wanted to quickly see if I could find her before this rain, literally as I'm talking right now. starting to piss down found her just in time didn't take long I'd say she went I'd say she went between 100 and 150 meters in total just not that far past the trees where we last saw her which yeah after watching the footage back I didn't think she would go far I'm gonna see how I go pulling her out of that water but I don't think uh, focus I don't think I'm going to be able to move her. Might take shelter for a minute though. Try and keep this camera a little bit dry.
Come on. I don't know. Can see my fingers for reference. Fingers are a bit closer to the camera than the spider, but pretty big. Fuck, get out of the water. Alright guys, well here she is. I'm pretty pissed off that I couldn't get her out of this wallow, to be honest. The sides of it are just too steep. So, it is what it is. I tried for at least an hour, but no joy. Overall, I'm bloody stoked, you know. Super happy with how the, the broadheads performed. Flew like a freaking dart. There's also one more big thing that I didn't mention before about these broadheads, so keep your ear out for that. I'll run you through my bow setup. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what I'm running to hunt buffalo and all that, so. I'm shooting a Matthews V331 at 70 pounds and 29 and a half inch draw length. The arrow setup I'm running, I've been using these nappy time 5 mil shafts, and I'm, I'm really liking these. Before this, I was using the Victory Rip shafts but these for me they fly a lot better yeah they come in at about 10 grains per inch and i think they're cut to 27 or maybe 27 and a half inches uh, i've just got a max stealth on the back with a wrap and a nocturnal on the front i've got the new broadheads 175 grain the insert and sleeve system on these shafts i really like there's a 50 or 60 grain adjustable insert and then stainless insert as well and then these sleeves which are 20 grains i believe they go over and they just they make it rock solid and i've been shooting these broadheads at some real hard shit both the broadheads and the, the arrows have performed very well um what else have i got i've got a quiverizer obviously um i'm running a spot hog fast xl with the double pin uh, i just got a rear sta stabilizer and uh, just with a little bit of weight there and a hamski rest. Uh, that's about it. I've got big fella bow strings on. I'll be interested to see how long I can keep them nice and clean for, but probably won't be long. And yeah, that's about it. I'm running a, a Bowman nose button as well, which I really like. Yeah, I'm pretty knackered after trying to move this big girl, so I'm gonna get to work now. I'm, I'm only gonna take the back straps because honestly, it's gonna be so hard to get the meat off her in this water. And this, this wallowing water, you do not want to, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I don't know for sure, but in my mind, I do not want this water to touch the meat because the buffalo get in these wallows and they piss and shit and yeah, it's, it's no good. So it's unfortunate. Like I said, I'm pretty pissed off. I couldn't get her out and it's frustrating. You know, there's grass all around us and she just happened to die right in this little wallow. So, ah, uh, what do you do? All right, I'm gonna get to work. Hi right, guys, I just tried getting that freaking broadhead out. I sliced my finger open. 
I found the broadhead in there in the opposite side shoulder. Fuck, it's in there that hard. I tried to get me um, Leatherman's in there to take it out, but I couldn't. So it's a bit of a shame. I'm not going to be able to get it out and have a look, but yeah, I think I've stuffed around enough. Got the back straps. Couldn't get the fucking broadhead, but it's time to go home. Hey. Slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you